Hi, we continue our discussion on percents and we'll, we'll try to do one problem today. Find 30% of 1000. To do this problem, we need to remind ourselves of the definition of percent and also a fact that we learned in fractions. So let's quickly review that now. Here's the definition. If n is a whole number, we said n percent is simply the fraction n over 100, 100 in the denominator. Here's something we discussed in a video on fractions. Suppose a, b, c, d are whole numbers and b is not equal to 0, d is not equal to 0. a over b of c over d, we said is really the same thing as a over b times c over d. And both these expressions are in fact equal to this expressions a times c over b times d. We discussed this in another video. Now keep these in mind as we go back and do the problem. So here we need to find 30% of 1000. So we write that out here, 30% of 1000. So right away what we do is we rewrite 30% as a fraction, 30 over 100 of 1000. And now we use something that we just now reviewed about fractions and we off can may be replaced by times and now we also just now reviewed that this is simply same as 30 times 1000 over 100 and now you can use the cancellation law of fractions and if you like I'll give you another step rewrite 1000 as 10 times 100 over 100 now using the cancellation law of fractions, you can cancel this 100 and 100 and you'll be left with 300. So the answer is, and let's write it in here, 30% of 1000 equals 300. So notice how we write up our problem. We use equality signs and we really use definition of a percent and a knowledge of some facts or theorems from the topic of fractions. Thank you.